So growing up, I was a very picky eater, but the one thing that my father could always rely on me eating were Crowder peas. I love Crowder peas. Some people might consider these field peas, but they're quite different. They're called Crowder peas because they're crowded in their pod and they actually turn out a little bit blocky looking, unlike a field pea. They have a completely different texture. So today, I would love to share with you how you can cook this wonderful dish. Now this time of year, I have turnip greens growing in the garden. Now just to remind you, I grow seven top turnip greens and these are something that my father grew also when I was growing up. He always had turnip greens and I didn't realize it, but I never saw turnips in our house and it wasn't until I watched a TV show I realized he was growing seven top turnips because those do not produce turnips. They're turnip greens. So I also needed some jalapeno peppers for the cornbread I'm going to make. I did a video on that earlier for you, probably about a couple of months ago, using Jiffy Mix. So it's really easy. It's you use cheddar cheese and jalapeno peppers and a scallion or some green onion. And so those are super easy and delicious. Now we'll just cook a couple of slices of some good smoky bacon and I like to just cut that in half to make it more manageable for my little pot there and I'll just clean up these turnip greens a little bit I gave them a good wash and I want to remove the little rib or the stem from the leaves taking out that little stem will make these leaves extra tender and they'll just kind of fall apart in the peas and this is just an onion that I've been storing that I harvested over the summer and so we'll need a little onion for the Crowder peas. And just rough chop that real good. So while the bacon was cooking, I also started some of that Jiffy cornbread mix. And so into the pot here go the onions, and we wanna sweat these for about two minutes. And now I'll add just a little bit of that ham stock that I made with the leftover ham from Thanksgiving and add my frozen powder peas. And now I'll add some more ham stock until I just cover the top of those powder peas. Now I'm on about medium high heat, so I cut up my bacon into pieces. I added it back to the peas. And then half a teaspoon of ground black pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. Brought that to a boil and then I reduced the heat to a gentle simmer so those peas could cook through. And that should take about 20 to 30 minutes. You'll just have to test as you go. And then I filled up my little muffin cups, got those in the oven. The peas were cooking real good and starting to release some of their starch. So I added the turnip greens and of course, these will cook down very fast and almost like I didn't even put them in there. <laughs> so it really, I think, adds a little bit of bitterness to this. The ham stock's a little bit sweet and salty, makes it really good. I did need a little bit more salt, and then I added a splash of apple cider vinegar. Also, it's really good if you have some southern pepper sauce, but I am out, and that's simply vinegar infused with peppers. And so my little cornbread muffins were done, and the peas were done, and this makes one meal in itself to me. I can just sit down and eat just this. This is my meal. So I have some peas and turnip greens and then add the little cornbread muffin there which has the cheddar cheese in it and some jalapeno peppers and then serve it right there with a little bit of chow chow. I use my grandmother's recipe to make chow chow. Like I said, this hits every note. You got a little bit of vinegar, you got a salty, you got a little bit of sweet with the cornbread and I just love it. So I hope you guys can give this a try and thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day.